and welcome back to my second video of my Python tutorial for beginners. Today we're gonna download Python. So please open up your web browser. Let's download Python. So we're gonna go to python.org here. See. And here you're gonna see the button downloads. And usually it already senses what kind of operative system you actually are using. And we're going to choose Python 3.6.5. It is the latest version. There are mainly two different versions, 2.7 something or 3.6 something. They are kind of a little bit different to each other. Some commands in the language you write in different ways. So they're not perfectly compatible with each other. So if you write a script in 3.6, you might not be able to use it with 2.7. And the reason I want you to download the latest version is because the first version 2.7 will not longer be supported after a little while. So it's better to start writing code in the version that will be supported further on. Just move forward in the installation and save it in the default position that Python will tell you. Okay, so now when we have downloaded it, let's see if it is successfully downloaded as well. You can do that by opening the terminal window and you do that by pressing on the launch pad and then entering terminal and double clicking right here. What the terminal window is, I will tell you in the next tutorial. So just forget about that for now. What we're going to do in order to see if Python is successfully installed is by just writing Python and then pressing enter. Since I have both 2.7 version and 3.6 version installed on the same computer, I will write Python 3 to call my Python 3 instead. And now you will be able to see your version here and some helpful commands later down. This means that you have successfully installed Python and you can go further to the next video where I will talk a little bit more about this terminal window. If you had any problems with downloading Python, please leave a comment below and I will try to answer them as quickly as possible. And don't forget to subscribe in the left lower corner here so you can be updated when new tutorials arrive or new videos so you can learn more about coding or Python.